Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the beautiful roundhouse. This is it. begin to explain the answer to that question. What I suppose brings us today here is um, the story of this boy. Very interesting story really. B L A G Black O Y. Blagoy. <laughs> it was amazing. Like uh, he was my everything and I was his everything. Everywhere we went, I was so proud to be with him. It felt like any challenge that we would come across wouldn't be a challenge. There was no challenge. It was so easy. It was too perfect. I absolutely loved it. I remember it very well. It was 1998. I was seven years old. Already a famous critique back home, of course. Back on those days, you needed one year in advance to have a space, a seat, to be able to present a show of Sergei Pietrich. And of course, being a famous critic, I had my seat secure and ready to go. And what I used to do in those days, I used to write my critiques one year in advance as well. Although we were all expected to be blown away, we never imagined that we were going to be blown away in this way. The show started, and uh, it was the second movement. We all suddenly felt silent. Of course, we were already silent. We were watching the show, but the silence became even thicker. We, we were thrilled with somebody that we never seen before. Blagoy was the most perfect dancer. He brought tears to my eyes every time I saw him. The way he moved his legs. The way that he moved his arms. With this strange person that was appearing from a side, one of the one of the accompaniantes, one of the of the backup dancers, of the Sergei Pietrich production, he came from, I remember from the left side, he entered with such a gracious manner. Who is this man? Who is this strange person? And when I say strange, I mean because he was a stranger to us. We didn't know him. He was something new. That person was Blagoy. Por, por mi madre no, no, lo, no, lo puedo, no lo puedo describir bien, pero toda mi vida he tratado de ver Blagoy en una representación. Y toda mi familia se juntó a mí para hacerme el regalo, el mejor regalo de mi vida. Me compraron un boleto directo a París y en París tengo un amigo que trabaja en el ópera. El amigo consiguió darme un boleto para ir al concierto. Esa representación de Blagoy fue la más increíble de todas, creo. El man se movió así, 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 en cualquier lado de la escena. Our attention was not on Pietrich anymore, no. Our attention was now on this person. On this mysterious dancer. This dancer with no name to us, of course, back then. Today we... Today, how could you not know his name? And, uh, and I remember very well that the show finished. I was, I was floating out of that theater. I was just floating out. 
I got to my car, I got to my house, and the first thing I did, I grabbed my critique, which was going to be published the next day, and I threw it into the bin. I just needed to throw it into the bin. And I wrote a new one saying, Dance Today had reborn. Dance Today has changed forever. None of, none of us, the critiques, the spectators of the dancing world, or the dancers around the globe will be the same after what happened today. No, ah, qué pena, qué pena, qué pena lo que le pasó ahora. Pero bueno. And then, of course, the accident happened. And uh, well, not, no need to, to fall into cliches about a sad day for dancing, a tragedy for the art world. Blago it was, yes, like Henri Rousseau painting, but with the dancing. And I think that he gave us that. It was beautiful. It was a sight to see. And now we can no longer do it. It's a shame. Dancing is missing something. The world is missing something. The way that boy used to do the splits at the end. It was perfect. It was divine. I'm getting emotional. I'm not sure I can do this anymore. Please, cut the camera. Cut the camera! Blagoy the dancer, and then Blagoy, my husband. Well, my husband had deep, dark secrets, insecurities, a lot of hidden motives, a lot going on back at home, in the home. Just so much that he hid away from everyone which is strange because around everyone, he was the most open, loud, eccentric person that you'd ever meet. And everything was on the table and he was confident and he was a star. And then at home, I saw everything that he hid. I'm Philippe, I am younger brother of Blagoy. For one thing, my family always treat me like, how you say, a yellow sheep. For one thing, they treat me as sacrificed childs. All the time, all they cared is the education of blog, preparation of blog, dance lessons for blog, guitar lessons for blog, so that he will be the best. Instead, they send me to special security guard school to become security for KFC. It's not fair to me just because I second son. I am very angry with my father. If I see him, I will slap him very much. We all know the beginning of Blagoj with his family Back in the early 70s, 80s, we all know he had a, a very strange relationship with the brother, especially. That the, the brother was, was uh, a character of his own. He, for what we know today, his parents uh, were kind of selective with Blagoy. Apparently, Blagoy was, well, um, we could say the favorite one. I was a black boy for many years. I didn't hear anything about this brother. And uh, we were at the Orpheum Theater seeing one of his many shows. I was there every week. It's fantastic. I loved it. And uh, he got off stage. I met him back there. And then this guy appeared. And I was wondering, who is this? How did he get back here? And the intense look that I saw on his face looking at black boy and the reaction from black boy looking at this guy who is actually his brother. I can't even just like begin to describe what was going on because I had no idea what was going on. And that was the first time I met him. I used to work for the government of Macedonia and the ministry department of culture. Um, I started my career back in the 70s. I worked through 80s on special projects. There are many things that I cannot actually say in front of the camera, 
but I can tell you that the project started back in the 70s, early 80s, uh, when Blago's brother actually left uh, for America to work as a security officer at KFC. Uh, at that time, I was just a young recruit starting off at the agency, and uh, the case was actually handed down to me by higher ranking officers. Uh, some of the files I have brought down with me of course, they're strictly classified, and you'll see why. Uh, first off, Blagoy was a dancer who was having his career uh, started off slowly, but quickly he picked up pace, and clearly that was bothering someone at high-ranking officials. Well, the story about his accident is well known to the broader masses by the story that we actually fabricated for the media. And transmit. It was no accident. Clearly, it was something different. He stepped on a few toes here and there in the ministry department because his career was so successful at a so young age that he needed to be taken care of. Of course, we had to do it and make it look like an accident. So, at one point, he had an accident, but it actually wasn't. It was a planned scenario carried out by the military in cooperation with the Ministry of Culture. He was on the stage when he was approached by a certain individual, which I will not relieve his name, but uh, he was supposed to help him to catch him when he was dancing. And he wasn't. The door opened and he fell through, hitting his knee not saving his career, but saving his life. Well, he supported me while I was in university, so I was still in university when I got the phone call. <laughs> There's nothing here we should fear but the nothing. And my heart dropped. I'm sorry, I just... I just didn't know how to take it. But I just told myself he's gonna be all right, it's fine. And the phone cut out at first, and he just told me that he was gonna, be, he was gonna make it home. I'm sorry. First son, he get everything. Second son, it's almost like they didn't even want me. Treat me like dog. He get always better toys, bigger toys, more expensive toys. He have Millennium Falcon. I only get the Star Wars X-Wing fighter. Is much more money for him all the time. Obviously, I was being set up to be sacrificed. Nothing made him happy. I couldn't make him happy anymore. And it hurt. It hurt a lot. I took it very personally. I know I shouldn't have, he was dealing with so much, but I just couldn't be there for him. And I really wanted to be. And I tried to be for so many years. And it just got to the point where no one could help him but himself. So after the, the, the injury, I remember I got a call from, uh, from several, several people, a lot of them from inside and the outside of the dance, um, the dance um, scenario back on those days and they were really it was it was fear that I felt in their voices it was what are we going to do now what what is of us if every show every every production that we see now uh, it's it would be tasteless to us because 
It's like going to a restaurant. You are giving a, a premium cut, and then they say, sorry, we don't have more meat. We are going to give you a slice of pizza. It's the same thing with the dance. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he was talented from day one. I'm sure that the day he was a baby and he stood up for the first time, he just split the legs because he was, he was meant to be. Yeah, it was exciting. It was just exciting. I felt like I didn't care if my world was about to change. I just wanted to go with him anywhere and everywhere. So really, it was just, just more excitement for me. Pensé que podría ser un bailador también. Así era el sueño de mi vida, así. No, él, él me dio mucha inspiración. Y mismo si sé que no voy a poder llegar a un tal nivel y a una tal expresión de sentimientos como baila él, ya me llena el corazón haberlo visto una vez. Así fue. All my life, I dream of to shake hands with Goofy, Mickey Mouse. I want to go to Disneyland so bad. It's more about the notion. I'm, su I'm supposed to speak Spanish or French. Spanish? Okay. So I guess in the end, I'm left with the question, if Bligoi hadn't ever have had that accident, would we still be together? Probably not. <laughs>